I am going to do a video for proper and safe grooming on dogs since today using my Bouvier. I am a professional groomer and I wanted to drug, clean up some misconceptions that have been going around for proper and safety. That way, people don't accidentally hurt their dogs. This is not my normal room for doing this. And I like to normally use sunlight against my black dog for doing it. So my grooming table is downstairs and it's storming outside today. So I'm going to use my dog room. See, I have kennels in here and gear. And I love a uh, day bed that they like to sleep on. So here we go. I'm going to start this and see if I can do it this way. Let's see if this, I'll have to hold it. I don't have this room set up for videoing. The first thing I'd like to address is the dog should be roughed out and brushed before ever doing anything else. You should do nails and any clippering before bathing that you're going to need to do. And then you go back over it. See, his top has been clippered. His ears have been clippered. I've already done that because I don't want to do the video with buzzing clippers to cover the sound. But I want to go over some things. You always want to use the proper size clipper. This is a seven. This is what I do the top of his skull cap with. I do his ears with a 10. Each breed and dog cut is going to be different and you tailor it. Never do we want to bring the clippers, hold still bud, over the top of the head towards the eyes. Never, ever bring the clippers over the head towards the eyes. Ever. You never use a full clipper blade towards the eyes ever. You use a smaller trim blade, never a large blade around the eyes and nose. You get a separate clipper that is for trimming small blades or use smaller scissors in those areas. Same with the feet. You pick up the feet and you scissor the paw pads. You use a pair of scissors, grooming scissors, such as these or these, and you lay the paw flat and you trim and scissor in between the paw pads flat hair, and I do it before the bath, I comb the fur upwards in between the paw pads, and I pull the hair upwards, and then I scissor the hair. Never force a full-size blade that is this wide in between the paw pads. They make a specialized poodle blade that is, comes up with teeth through here to go in between those paw pads, to shave in the paw pads. It has teeth that only come about this wide. You never force a blade this wide in between those paw pads. He's a full-size dog of good size. He's a 90-pound dog. Look at the size of his paw pad versus the size of that full-size clipper blade. And I would never still put that full-size blade in between his paw pads. Never. You only use a proper blade 
in between the paw pads. Never put that full size blade in between those paw pads. And also, you lubricate your blades with lubricating oil before grooming and make sure your blades are sharp. You can hear a dull blade. And that's going to cause an uncomfortable cut for a dog. You can hear when your blades are getting dull and they should be sharpened on a regular basis by a proper person that sharpens blades. Another thing, do all your close cutting with cool lube and even in between when you are cutting with your clippers, you must always use cool lube of some type on your blades to keep them cool. They get very heated. It's bad for your clippers. It'll burn up the motor. It's bad for your cutting blades. And it's also bad for the dog. This is what causes clipper burn on your dog, especially in sensitive areas, like around the anus and on the belly, face, ears, and even on the skin if you're clipping close. You always use a coolant on the blades to cool them down while you are clippering your dog. It is cruel to the dog to not use this. These products are used for a reason. Now I want to go on with the different types of brushes that should be used. You should be using a metal comb, a slicker brush. You should also be using a rake for dogs with an undercoat. Never a furminator. Don't use a furminator. It is bad for a dog's coat. For a dog like my dog, who needs to be hand stripped, they make special knives for this. This is called stripping knives. This is what we pull the outer coat with up here. We pull that outer coat up here with these stripping knives like these. We do not clipper that. We pull that outer coat with these stripping knives. In the summer, I keep them short because I live in Georgia. It gets hot down here and he wears full working gear. So I pull that with those. In order to clean the ears, we use these, and it should be done before the bath. These are just curved hemostats. It keeps a hold of all of the cotton ball so that you don't lose any down in the ear. Use witch hazel to clean the inside of the ear really well before you bathe. Not production ear cleaners or anything like that. You use witch hazel. Then you use ear powder to pull any ear hairs down in the ear canal so it doesn't call, cause ear, ear uh, infection. And when you clip nails, Always make sure you have some blood stopper on hand. Do not ever clip nails and not have something right beside you just in case you clip them. Yes, you're going to lick it. Also, make sure you have something to keep the dog cool and comfortable while you are working on your dog. You don't want to have a dog panting on your table. My dog is very comfortable. He is very comfortable. See? Very comfortable. You want to make sure that you are using everything possible on your dog to make sure that he has a very comfortable experience grooming. Dogs that get groomed are going to spend hours on the table of their lives. Thousands of hours. And a bad experience is going to set them up for a terrible time. Especially a breed like mine. And 
you want to be as safe as possible. When you are trimming around the edges of the ears, never chop at them. You want to follow the edge around and never go upwards and never take the clipper up the edge of the ear. Never, ever go up the edge of the ear. Hold still, buddy. It's hard to do this and hold it at the same time. I need a cameraman to do this, right? You never want to take the clipper and go up the edges of the ear on the edge because you're going to get the edge of the ear caught in between these teeth. That is completely the wrong thing to do. Only clipper the flats of the ears ever. Clip the flats and then scissor downward on the edges of the ears. It is so easy to cut those edges. Now my dog can't show it because he has a full beard. But if you have skin folds on the neck of your dog that you are grooming, you have to be so careful. I can't even show you because he's got, you know, the full neck here of beard. But a lot of dogs that like poodles and all that have skin folds on their neck, you have to be so careful. Because if you clipper with large blades on those necks, they have skin folds that just like the ear that they can catch in between those blades. If you don't do it just right, you can catch that. Just like on the flank here. If you catch the clipper on that edge and flap of skin, you can slice that. And you don't want to do that. Don't just grab a pair of clippers. Call yourself a groomer and start doing it. You really need to learn from someone how to do it properly. If you don't know what you're doing and you do something wrong, you can seriously hurt a dog. So if you ever have any questions, please do feel free to contact me. I always have animals best interests at heart. I do not do these videos to be me. I do not speak out to be me. I love animals and I always just care about their best well-being. Really, if you ever have any questions or need help, just ask me. I am not a mean person. I just want to make sure that animals are cared for in the best possible way. I love my animals so very much and they are very well cared for. Right? Right, Luca? This is Luca. He is my daytime service dog. Oh, buddy. I hope you all have a wonderful day. For me, it's been a long one, and I didn't get half my stuff done because the first part of the day was really hard. I'm glad I could come to you with two short videos today. Please hit that like and subscribe. I'm going to start being more active now in the world of YouTube videos. I've had some time freed up and I'm enjoying this. So, hope to meet you all. Thank you. Bye.